Good afternoon. Well, as you can see behind me, work is already being done to repair the damage left behind by this deadly shooting. Now, police are telling us that uh, someone shot into the vehicle that was uh, here in this parking lot, and then someone else uh, drove the vehicle that contained the 14-year-old girl to a separate location on South Ainsworth Avenue. Now, first responders went to that location, but despite giving out medical aid, the 14-year-old girl was pronounced dead. Now, now, as tragic as this situation is, I had the opportunity to speak with the owner of the restaurant here, and he says that this situation is becoming too common in this area. Today was supposed to be a celebration for Ezel's famous chicken. Instead, the car came across the parking lot. Its CEO, Louis Rudd, is explaining the death of a 14-year-old girl to his customers. On National Fried Chicken Day, I'm here talking about a kid that's died. Senselessly. Police responded to calls of shots fired at 11.35 a.m. today on the corner of MLK and South 19th Street. Innocent victim. Officers learned someone shot into a vehicle, hitting the 14-year-old girl inside. Just beginning a life. Someone else in the vehicle then drove the victim to South Ainsworth Avenue. The young girl was pronounced dead at the scene. I don't know how they get over that. Rudd has been serving his customers at this location since 2011 and still remembers living through this level of violence before. To keep the guests coming in and out comfortable, feeling secure, we hired security. It was that bad. Then things got better. Now I see the trend going negative again. Rudd says in the past six weeks, there have been three separate shootings at his corner. A guy walking across the parking lot, another guy walking in front of him, and then they just have a shootout right here. This incident is Tacoma's 25th homicide this year. It's going to take community working together. Rudd says his heart goes out to the family of the victim. But I pray that they find comfort and peace. And hopes Tacoma's police chief Avery Moore will be able to combat the rising homicide rate. It's going to take leadership. But he also says if the deeper issues aren't addressed, the violence will only continue. I think economics has to do with it. I think education has to do with it. I think lack of opportunities has to do with it. And I think it's not something that just started happening two years ago. This is the result of something that's been happening for decades. Now, Rudd went on to say that until he can guarantee the safety of his employees, his restaurant is going to stay closed. So far, no arrests have been made, but Tacoma PD is calling on anyone with any information to get in touch with them as soon as possible through Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS. But for now, we're live in Tacoma. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.